this is, well, that didn't sound right. <laughs> Hello everyone, this is Robin and welcome to MyPinkStamper.com. Today I have a fun, simple card using a little bit of our embossing powder, the black, which I absolutely love. And I'm using the Trick or Tweet <laughs> stamp set. You still have time to make goodies for Halloween, and if you're like me, Halloween is one of my most favorite holidays of the year. I love making goodies and treats and cards and you name it, I'm making it. So I thought I'd start with just a simple card that I'm sending to some of my amazing customers this month. And uh, we'll go ahead and jump right in. If you have any questions about what I'm using, I'll have everything on the screen along with the item code. You can order anything you see directly from my shopping page at mypinkstamper.stampinup.net. So we'll go ahead and jump right in. We will go ahead and do our embossing first. And I'm going to be using a little piece of our Whisper White cardstock. And this can just be a scrap, so it doesn't, it just has to be big enough for the stamp that we're using. And the two stamps I'm using from this collection is I'm using this cute little cat mummy, and then I'm using your spooktacular, because I thought spooktacular, I know, I could have done the ghost, I could have done any one of these, but I thought that's a really cute little sentiment to go with this. So we're gonna go ahead and use the little cat. Now I'm going to be using some of my background grid paper, or if you have a, a bowl, or a little Tupperware. I like to put my embossing powder in Tupperware, but I don't have that right now for my black, so I'm just using my little black container. I'm going to start by swiping our embossing buddy just over my paper, and that helps it so you don't have a lot of the static and your embossing uh, powder won't just be everywhere, and sometimes that happens. I'm using our Versamark stamp pad this is a watermark pad, but it's also used for embossing with all of our embossing powders. I have, I like to get my powder ready, <laughs> so it's ready to go. So I have my powder out. Let me go ahead and make sure my paper is ready. Whoops, that was interesting. That was fun, it just flew. If you're new to my videos, I don't really edit a lot out, so you kind of see the real me. You see my mistakes and all because I'm, I'm a real stamper. I'm gonna do this again. I'm a real stamper just like you. Anyone can make the projects that I'm showing you. They're super easy to make. Um, this one's going to be super fun because I'm showing you how to heat emboss if you don't know how to heat emboss yet. So I'm going to go ahead and ink up. I'm using one of our clear mount stamps. It's on our red rubber and it's called clear mount because you just use our clear mounts and you can see around it and through it. The actual clear stamps that we carry for some of our stamps is called photopolymer. So that's the difference between the two. This is called clear mount red rubber. So I'm gonna go ahead and ink that up and I'm just gonna stamp it kind of off to the bottom a little bit. Put my lid back on my Versamark so it doesn't dry out. And then I will go ahead and just pour this black embossing powder on it. Watch the magic, ready? Woo! So that is ready to go. I kind of just flick it a little bit. And now I can just take this and put this back into my jar. I can just kind of have it go in a little bit and then tap it and set that aside. And that's all I really need this for. Now I'll go ahead and take the Stampin' Up! heat tool. Let me go ahead and put the lid on my, I clean up as I go most sometimes. When I'm in my creative splendor, I don't clean up anything, but I wanna keep it clean right now for you guys. Okay, so I'm gonna go ahead and use our Stampin' Up! Heat tool. It has two heat, two settings. The first setting is for just drying something or if you wanna heat set something. And the second setting is for actually the melting, it's for the embossing. So I just started on one end, kind of at an angle. Make sure it's not pointing towards you. And then you can just watch this and it'll melt it. You'll see it changing consistency in just a second. You see it? I just wanted to add a little bit of fun touch to this. I could have just stamped this in black, no problem. But I wanted it to be a little bit shiny. And if you watch the very end of this video, I took a picture of my card in the sunlight so you can kind of see how shiny it is in real life. It's really pretty. All right, so now the next thing I'm going to do is I'll go ahead and punch 
I'm using our one and three quarter inch circle punch. I'm just going to put this through here and just punch it out like that. And now I'm going to use our star burst punch. I think it's called that. I'll have the correct name on the screen if I'm not saying it right. That's the great thing about these videos. <laughs> I can edit if I make a mistake. I keep usually everything in. This is the Starburst. This is our gold glimmer paper. If you haven't tried our new glimmer paper since it was reformulated, you're really wanna, gonna wanna give it a try. It's wonderful. It doesn't leak glitter everywhere, which we all said we loved. We loved glitter, we loved glimmer paper. We really didn't like the glitter everywhere, <laughs> but this new paper, you don't really have that problem. You might have a couple little glitter flecks, but not much at all. Okay, so I punched that out. And now since I'm adding, I want to add this circle to this. Anytime you're adding something to our glimmer paper, it's really important that you use something like our glue dots. These are our mini glue dots. They really get into the glimmer paper. If you use our regular adhesive, it sometimes pops off. And so this is just a little tip. If you don't have any of our mini glue dots yet, you might wanna add them to your next order. I love the glue dots, I use them all the time. So I'm just going to add that and this gives me a nice border of our beautiful glimmer paper. Isn't it just gorgeous? I just love it so much. All right, so now we can go ahead and we can finish up this card. So I'm gonna go ahead and do our stamping. I'm just using our black, Tuxedo Black Memento ink and I'm using this piece of our Whisper White cardstock. This is cut at three and three quarters by five inches. Five inches right here. Um, and I'm going to use the Tuxedo Memento Black, and I think I just said that. I don't remember if I did or not. And I'm stamping the Your Spooktacular. And the little, it's the little uh, cat's going, Your Spooktacular. You see its little hand, Your Spooktacular. Okay, welcome if you're new. <laughs> This is just how I am on my videos, and in real life, by the way. If you've met me, yeah, I'm pretty much like this all the time. Okay, so what I'm going to do next is I'm taking this piece of our thick Whisper White cardstock. This is a little bit different from our regular Whisper White. It's a little bit thicker and sturdier, so it makes great card bases. So I use this, I love having a white card base, and I love our thick Whisper White. This is cut at five and a half by eight and a half inches, and I have it scored at four and a quarter, and I used our Stampin' Trimmer, which I'm going to pull out in just a minute. So I'm gonna go ahead and just fold this and just set it aside. So I have this folded over, and I'm using our bone folder to give a nice and tight crease. Okay, so I'll set all of these aside. Now I'm going to be using our Stampin' Trimmer. This is a really simple card. I whipped out a few dozen of these uh, today, and it didn't take me a lot of time. I think that the longest thing on this that takes the longest is just the embossing, but you can just do a bunch of those at one time. So it's a great idea for you. I'm using some of our paper. It's called Broadway something and I'll have it on the screen along with the item code. I had some scraps left over and I thought, why don't I make some uh, thank you cards or some customer cards? This isn't really a thank you card. It's more of like, I love you guys. You're spectacular. Here you go. Um, all of my customers that place any size order on my shopping page, I send them a handmade card that I've made myself. And it's my favorite, one of my favorite part of my jobs is getting to make these cards for my customers because I just, I'm so thankful for them. And it gives me something fun to do because I love making cards. All right, so this is, um, these come in sheets of 12 by 12 and it's just a variety pack of really a fun designer series paper. It's a specialty paper. And I love this gold and black. I'm going to cut this at five inches, and I'm going to just cut it uh, one inch. The scrap was at two, so I had enough to make, you know, two from one of those. All right, so that's pretty much it. Now I can just put the, this is our Stampin' Trimmer. I don't know if I said that. Stampin' Trimmer, that you can score or you can cut on it. So I'm going to take some of our snail adhesive. This is my go-to adhesive that I use for all of my regular card making. If something's really small, I will use a different adhesive that we carry or glue dots. Okay, so I'm just gonna add that right there. 
And now I'm going to be adding this to a piece of our basic black cardstock. This is cut at five and a quarter, I'm sorry, four inches by five and a quarter. And I'm just going to turn this over and add some of our adhesive on there, our snail. And go ahead and do this. And now I'll just flip this over and I'll do the same thing. I hope you guys are having a wonderful day. Winter came, it seems. We have snow on our mountains just behind our house. I mean, it's not on the ground near us yet, but it's going to be there soon. Oh, you guys already saw the finished. Okay, so now I'm going to take our Stampin' Dimensionals. If you don't own any of our dimensionals yet, this is something else I recommend adding to your next order. That was not, a, where did it go? I don't even know where it went. Um, they are very inexpensive and I use them on all of my projects. Scrapbook pages, cards, bags, tags. Did I say cards? I put them on everything. So here's just a really beautiful and fun, and I just really love it. Uh, let's see, let me get you a good picture. Let me show you some more of these that I made. I just love how they look all together. They're just so fun, and I hope my customers love these as much as I've loved making them. I hope you all have a wonderful day. I'm so thankful that you took time out of it to spend a little uh, crafting time with me. You can find me on my website, mypinkstamper.com. If you like what you saw, please give me a thumbs up and subscribe if you haven't already so I can share more of my video tutorials with you. Uh, I will see you soon. Bye-bye.